One time for your mind, two time for your soul. Let me show y'all what y'all saw the other night. Now I was explaining the reason why the powers that be had to take over this rap music and do what they do with it. Before us with the music, you had the Malcolms and you had the, the Martins, right? And their audience were the audience that were there at that time. And that's the only people that they can influence. And then here you come Chuck D's and guys like me that are influencing these young, new, fucking black children to fucking be better. Oh, no, we can't have that shit. So now we complain about all of these records that are downgrading and downgrading. You know how many positive artists there are out here? But they're not being pushed through because of the message that they bring. And like I said, all Nas X showed you was the reason why they had to take over this shit. Yeah. Because guys like me, that can influence the youth, not only in the neighborhood, but across the world. All right? Look, so. It's like, it's, it's, it's like this and this is this. All right. That's why you're getting off my Oculus. But it's your man, Chisel. One time for your mind, two time for your soul. One time for your mind, two time for your soul. It's your man, Chisel, with a whistle. No, you told a story about me, right? Now I'm going to tell a story about you, right? <laughs> See, in the early Nas days, you know, wherever Nas went, motherfucking Queensbridge came through and was fucking everything up. <laughs> I'm like... Yo, Nas, we love our hood, right? But nigga, they don't know their names. All they gonna say is, them niggas came with Nas. They gonna know them niggas. They ain't gonna know nobody else, but you gonna get the blame, right? And a nigga was, you know, he just was doing him. Man. I took the nigga for a ride in my car. My, I can't which remember which vehicle it was, but I took the nigga for a ride. And all I could think of, his own line. He didn't listen. He'd be riffing while I'm telling him stuff. <laughs> because it took a while before he figured out what the fuck I said. After a while, he, he, he started to understand that motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? You got to move a certain way and shit. But at the time I was telling that nigga that shit. He didn't listen. He be riffing while I'm telling him stuff. Nas, love you, motherfucker. Since you told a story about me, nigga, I had to tell one about your ass that I remember vividly. You might not remember, <laughs> but I remember how motherfucking went it, nigga, when it came to your shows and QB showed up, nigga. Them niggas ran. What? What? <laughs> nigga, you ain't gonna get no money. Keep fucking around. Love them niggas and the whole shit. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate y'all. One time for your mom, two time for your soul, your man Shizzle with a gnaw story. Appreciate y'all. One time for your mom, two time for your soul, your man Shizzle. I got another funny story. It's the bridge 2001, right? I was adamant not to do that fucking record. Why? Because I had some ill shit written that motherfucker and I wanted to do my own motherfucking thing and show these little niggas that nigga I could still blaze the fuck nigga. Fuck put the beat on nigga. Right? So I wasn't coming. <laughs> and nigga Nas knew I wasn't coming. What the nigga do? He sent body G to my house. <laughs> Rob the bull. A nigga he know I respect and love and shit, right? So Buddy G came in my house. And I'm like, nigga, I ain't going to the motherfucker. Said, nah, nigga, we just gonna go take a ride and talk about it. Nigga, where your phone? Where your wallet? You got your wallet? You got your phone? Nigga, I got my phone, all that shit. This nigga said, rap. <laughs> Actually fucking kidnapped me, nigga. Carried me. <laughs> Carried me out the fucking house and put me in the van and shit. All right, nigga, I ain't worried about it. I know I ain't about to get two in the back. So fuck it, nigga. You kidnapped me. Where we going? To the studio, nigga. Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> I get to the studio. Oh, it's the bridge 2001, nigga. I told y'all niggas I ain't fucking with this shit. I bring my notebook with my ill shit. I even said it to these niggas. They like, nah, shit. 
We want that old shit that you did, the shit that made us who the fuck we are. We want that shit on here. Me, nigga, I'm not hearing y'all little niggas. Fuck y'all niggas. I want to do this. Still talking shit at the studio. I guess Cole Mega was the only nigga that really could motherfucking approach me at that time and make me make sense of this shit. <laughs> Cole set me in the corner and he said, yo, listen, Shan, and he made it make sense. And so the next thing, you know, you love to hear the story again and again about a rap dynasty that just won't end. The monument is right in your face. And that's it. But I really wasn't going to do that, motherfucker. And when it came time to do the video, I still was acting up Acting up then. <laughs> Nigga stole my fucking Suburban. I come outside looking for my motherfucking truck. One of these motherfuckers and took my shit for a jury ride around the Queens, bro. I'm like, motherfucker. Y'all niggas was fucked up. But they didn't steal my shit. These niggas just took my shit for a fucking jury ride. You motherfuckers. But I love y'all niggas. That's another QB story. Oh, hold on. At the same shit. <laughs> I got to give a shout to motherfucking Traj and Imam Thug. These niggas are some funny niggas. <laughs> we on the bus. These niggas are doing what they doing. I'm like, yo, y'all niggas just motherfucker, shut the fuck up. <laughs> nigga, we good. But motherfucking, that's the day that I learned from my nigga Gaddafi. Yo, it's better to need it have it and not need it than to need it and not have it and fucking from that day of 2001 nigga trash I live by that motherfucking rule I'd rather have it and not need it than to need it and not have it nigga you taught me that motherfucker fuck that love you my nigga love all y'all Nas but that was a 2001 story body G love you my nigga love you motherfucking everybody involved with the whole fucking QB movement appreciate y'all One time for your mom, two time for your soul. Let me tell you when they found out the power of hip-hop, right? Motherfucking long before the internet. Long before any of this motherfucking put it up on your stream and your post and all that shit. We was little young black motherfuckers making fucking music in New York, L.A., down south. Luke and them niggas fucking up Florida. Guess who was listening to it? Australia, U.K., fucking Russia, all these other motherfucking places long before fucking internet ever came along. So guess what? Those motherfuckers looked and saw the power and how, and the far-reaching motherfucking... Oh, these niggas can reach everywhere with this shit, nigga. Start understanding your power, nigga. You don't have to give it to another motherfucker. And I'm not saying anything that I should be feared of. Because motherfuckers know you niggas ain't listening to me. Because Shan is crazy any motherfucking way. All that nigga is drink all day. What time is it? I don't even know. It's way too early for you motherfuckers to be drinking. But me, I could do this shit, my nigga. <laughs> but like I said, all you real estate motherfuckers, now y'all gotta fuck with me. Y'all know y'all, I be clowning a lot and all that shit, and I do what I do. But you real estate investors, y'all gotta fuck with me. Stay tuned. Motherfucking, I ain't saying shit yet, but you real estate investors. Like me, I don't like to find a niche and keep it to myself and get rich myself. I like the motherfucking... Spread some money to other motherfuckers. So guess what? I found a way to take another nigga's money. And fuck, I ain't got shit to do with me, nigga. How I get paid is when I get you motherfucking money to do what the fuck you do. And it's the same shit. It's nothing illegal about it, motherfucker. Just call me a motherfucking private lender. Shizzle, the private money, nigga. Just holler at me. Just keep real estate investors. Keep watching. Nigga, ain't nothing to buy. Ain't no motherfucking classes after I show you this, after you do this, sign up for this. Fuck that, nigga. You already got the shit in play that I need to motherfucking make happen for you. What the fuck has to happen? I got money for you is all I'm saying. Fuck that. Now listen to what the fuck I'm saying and y'all chill your blood. <laughs>